The Benefits of Single Player Gaming Playing single player games can offer benefits that extend far beyond mere entertainment. They provide a level of immersion that is hard to replicate in any other form of media. When you're the only one in charge of the game's story and progression, you have a greater sense of control. This means that pacing the game to suit your personal preference is a possibility. Taking your time to explore each nook and cranny of the game world or powering through the story to see what happens next all of it is up to you. The sense of immersion and control can be a relaxing experience for players as well. When you're in control of the game's world, you get to set the pace and let yourself unwind. Whether you're dealing with stress, anxiety, or just the chaos of the outside world, a relaxing single-player game can provide an escape into an entirely different world, one where you call the shots. However, single-player games are not just about relaxation. They can also be challenging in their own way. Adding to figure out how to progress the story, beat tough enemies, or complete challenging puzzles can be a satisfying experience that keeps players coming back for more. As players gain more experience, they may find themselves taking on higher difficulties or attempting to complete the game faster than before. They may even choose to set specific challenges for themselves such as completing a level without losing any health or defeating a boss without using any weapons. Another benefit of single-player games is the ability to tell intricate, engaging stories that may not be possible in other forms of media. With player choice influencing the outcome of the story, there's a level of personal investment that can be hard to replicate elsewhere. This can keep players invested in the game's world for hours on end eagerly anticipating the next story development or character interaction. In the end, single-player games offer a unique and versatile form of entertainment that can suit a wide range of preferences. Whether you're looking for relaxation, immersion, challenge, or an engaging story, there's a single-player game that fits the bill. The ability to control the pace and direction of the game provides a level of agency unmatched by any other form of entertainment. The benefits of single-player gaming are many and varied, making it an excellent choice for anyone looking for an enjoyable and customizable experience. Question: What are the benefits of playing single-player games? Check the video description for the answer. Choosing the right single-player game for you Choosing the perfect single-player game can be a daunting task, especially for beginners. There are so many gaming platforms to choose from, each with their unique offerings. But what is essential is to know your preferences and interests. Are you into action and adventure games or puzzle and strategy? Knowing what sparks your interest can help narrow down your choices. Time management is another important aspect to consider. If you do not have much time to invest in gaming, then open-world games with too many side missions may not be the best choice. Instead, games that offer shorter levels, easy save options and checkpoints are ideal for a quick game during your break time. Skill level is also a crucial factor. Games come with varying difficulty levels. Beginners are better off starting with the easy level before progressing to the tougher levels. The right flow of the game ensures that you do not easily lose interest. Choose games that fit your pace, offering a perfect balance of excitement, challenge, and relaxation. Replay value is yet another important factor. You want to choose games that are worth playing over and over again. Those that offer different endings or random scenarios that make each playthrough a unique experience. As you progress and learn new skills, you may find yourself replaying your favorite game to see how much you have improved. Rachel was a beginner who loved adventure games. She found it hard to choose a game, but after doing some research, she discovered what she was looking for. She wanted a game with beautiful graphics substantial storytelling, and replay value. After some evaluation, Rachel decided on Horizon Zero Dawn. 
The game was thrilling, challenging, and offered a perfect blend of exploration and action. With her preference for adventure games, she found herself immersed in the story of Aloy, a fierce hunter in a post-apocalyptic world. The game's mechanics allowed her to hunt, craft, and survive in a world filled with hostile creatures. Rachel's curiosity was piqued right from the opening scene which depicted a young Aloy being raised by her guardian, Rost. The game's narrative was compelling, and Rachel found herself invested in each of the characters' motivations. She loved the game's vast open world, giving her the freedom to explore different terrains and pieces of architecture. Rachel spent hours mastering the game's combat system, which was necessary to tackle the game's daunting robotic bosses. While the game was at times challenging, she was grateful for the option to save her progress and pick up from where she left off. The game's replay value was impressive. Rachel found herself drawn to the exploration aspect of the game, and every time she played, she always found something new. The game's multiple endings and side quests gave her the motivation to come back for more. In conclusion, choosing the right game for you comes down to your preferences, interests, skill level, flow and replay value. The key to finding the perfect game is in doing research, reading, reviews, and exploring your options. For Rachel, Horizon Zero Dawn was the perfect game that offered her an immersive experience that kept her coming back for more. Question, how can you choose the right single-player game for you? Check the video description for the answer. Mastering difficulty levels. As she progressed through the game, Sarah found herself struggling with the difficulty level. She had started playing a strategy game with the hardest difficulty available, thinking she could master it quickly. But as she played, she found her skills were not up to par. The game mechanics were complex, and the AI seemed to anticipate her every move. Sarah knew she had to step up her game if she was going to progress. She spent hours researching strategies and watching tutorials, trying to figure out the best way to beat the game's toughest levels. Despite her efforts, Sarah still struggled. The game's AI seemed almost too smart to beat, and the challenges kept getting harder. But Sarah persevered, determined to improve her skills and overcome the game's obstacles. At times, it felt like she was hitting a wall. No matter how hard she tried, it seemed like she just couldn't progress. But Sarah refused to give up. She knew that every failure was an opportunity to learn and improve. As she played more, Sarah began to see improvement. The practices were paying off, and she started to see progress in the game. The challenges were still difficult but she was learning how to handle them. Sarah's patience paid off as she was able to defeat a particularly difficult level that had stumped her for days. The satisfaction of mastering that challenge drove her to keep playing, pushing her to get better and better. The difficulty level was no longer an obstacle for Sarah, and she was finally mastering the game mechanics. Her skills had improved, and she was able to progress to the later levels of the game. As Sarah continued to play, she realized that mastering the game was more than just a matter of skill. It was also about patience and persistence. The challenges were tough, but with perseverance, they could be overcome. For Sarah, the game had become an obsession. She was determined to beat every level, no matter how difficult and with each victory, her passion for the game grew. In the end, Sarah became a master of the game. She had learned to navigate the game mechanics, anticipate the AI's moves, and develop strategies to win. It had taken her months of practice, and she had faced many challenges along the way. But now, she was finally able to conquer the game's toughest difficulties. Question. How do you master difficulty levels in single-player games? Check the video description for the answer. Exploring Open World Environments The open world environment was vast and beckoned Sam to explore every nook and cranny. 
He had always enjoyed exploring in video games, and this was no exception. There were mountains to climb, oceans to swim in, and caves to delve into. Sam glanced at the map in his hand and tried to make sense of it. There were so many points of interest marked on it that he felt overwhelmed. He had to decide where to start his exploration from. He looked around and noticed a group of NPCs gathered near a ruined structure. They seemed to be discussing something important. Sam approached them, hoping to get some information. Hello, can you help me with something? Sam asked. One of the NPCs turned towards him and smiled. Sure, what do you need? I'm trying to explore this open world, but I'm not sure where to start. Can you suggest something? The NPC nodded. There are some side quests you can take up which would give you an idea about the area and build up your knowledge. And from there, you can go on to explore further. Sam was interested. What kind of side quests? He asked. Well, let me see, the NPC said thoughtfully. There is a farmer who needs help with his crops, a hunter who needs to track down some elusive prey, and a historian who wants to uncover some lost secrets. Take your pick. Sam considered his options. He decided to help the farmer with his crops, thinking it would give him an opportunity to get a feel for the area. The NPC gave him directions, and Sam started his journey. As he walked, he took in the sights around him. The open world was stunning, with its vast landscapes and unique creatures dotting the horizon. Sam was awed by the attention to detail the game developers had put into it. After what seemed like hours, Sam finally reached the farmer's field. He introduced himself and offered his help. The farmer was grateful and explained what needed to be done. Sam got to work immediately, tilling the soil, planting the seeds, and watering them. As he worked, he noticed that his navigation skills had improved. He was able to read the map better and figure out where he was without getting lost. The farmer was pleased with his work, and Sam felt a sense of accomplishment. He thanked the farmer and asked if there was anything else he could do. Well, the farmer said, there is an old mine nearby which needs to be cleared of some dangerous creatures. If you're up for it, I could use your help. Sam agreed, and the farmer marked the location of the mine on his map. Sam set out again, feeling more confident this time. The mine was dark and foreboding, but Sam pressed on. He fought the creatures with his weapons and won. The farmer was impressed and rewarded him with some valuable items. Sam realized that exploring an open world environment was not only about discovering new places and fighting monsters, but also about gaining knowledge and building skills. He resolved to continue exploring until he had uncovered every secret and completed every side quest the game had to offer. He knew it was going to be a long journey, but it was one he was willing to take. Question, what are some techniques for exploring open world environments in single player games? Check the video description for the answer. Achievements and completionist culture. During a brisk autumn day, Brian was sitting in his gaming room, scrolling through his achievements in his favorite game. As a completionist at heart, he was satisfied but couldn't shake off the feeling of not having done enough. He had earned all achievements except one, the ultimate challenge of completing all quests and collecting all items in the game. Brian knew it was a tall order, but he felt a sense of urgency to finish it. As he delved into the game, he started to share his progress with the community of players. They offered tips, challenges, and guidance, inspiring Brian to continue and reach his ultimate goal. He discovered that there was an entire community of players just like him, completionists, dedicated to the pursuit of finishing video games 100%. Brian spent day and night grinding out every single quest, hunting for every collectible, and experiencing the full breadth of environments in the game. It was challenging, but he found himself enjoying every moment of it. It made him feel alive and invigorated. 
As the days passed, he slowly crept up the leaderboard, inching closer to the top. But he knew it wasn't just about the rankings. It was about the sense of accomplishment, the adventure, and the community that fueled him. One day, after months of playing, Brian finally achieved his goal. He had collected every item, completed every quest, and earned every achievement. He cheered out loud in excitement, knowing that he had accomplished something only a few could match. As he shared his accomplishment with the community, he saw others, inspired by his success, striving to achieve the same goals. He felt like he was part of something bigger, a group of like-minded individuals who shared a passion for video games. Brian came to realize that completionism wasn't just about earning an achievement or collecting an item. It was about the journey, the challenge, and the community. He had discovered a new passion, and he knew that even when he achieved his goal, he would continue to play games with the same fervor, pushing himself to the limits and sharing with the community. From then on, Brian continued to excel in the gaming world, earning recognition among the completionist community and even earning invites to prestigious gaming events. But he knew it wasn't about the accolades. It was about the journey and the love of the game. As he looked back on his time spent playing, he was grateful for the community, the friends he had made, and the sense of accomplishment that he felt. He knew that completing a game wasn't always easy, but with perseverance, hard work, and the support of the community, anything was possible. Question, what is completionist culture and how can you participate in it? Check the video description.